question mark aminoglucoside calculator. One dot about this calculator. This aminoglucoside calculator uses a variety of published pharmacokinetic equations and principles to estimate an appropriate aminoglucoside regimen. This regimen can be completely empiric, where the dose is based on body weight, height, and creatinine clearance, or a regimen may be calculated based on one or more drug levels. This calculator was specifically designed to help students and clinicians understand the process of calculating an aminoglucoside regimen. When a regimen is calculated, each step in the dosing process is fully enumerated and visible by clicking the Equations tab. Select Progress Note or Equations after calculating an aminoglucoside dose for additional information. After calculating a dose, Click on Progress Note for a pharmacokinetic template or equations for a step-by-step -step explanation of the recommended dosing regimen. Question mark zero population estimate of KEL. One actual, ideal, and adjusted body weight. Question mark two inappropriate populations for extended interval dosing. Question mark three extended interval nomograms. Question mark for relative potency of amicacin to gentamicin slash topramicin question mark five proposed benefits of extended interval dosing question mark six clinical evidence of conventional versus extended interval dosing. Seven population estimate of Kel. Because aminoglycosides are primarily renally eliminated, the elimination constant, Kel, is directly related to the creatinine clearance colon L. This calculator uses the above equation to estimate aminoglycoside clearance. The second, simplified, equation may be used at the bedside, which contains coefficients that are easier to memorize. It is important to note that this method relies on an accurate question mark creatinine clearance. Therefore, this method may not be appropriate in patients with unstable renal function or those with difficult to estimate creatinine clearance. Actual. Ideal, and adjusted body weight. Aminoglycosides weight-based dosing should be based on ideal or adjusted body weight. The following criteria are used by this calculator to determine an aminoglycoside dosing weight. Question mark 10 in underweight patients. Less than ideal body weight. Actual weight is used. Question mark 11 in normal weight patients. 100 to 120% ideal weight. Ideal body weight is used colon 2 question mark 12 or 60 inches. Question mark 13 or 60 inches. Question mark 14 in overweight patients. More than 120% ideal weight. A 40% adjustment factor is used colon 3 question mark 15 adjusted. Question mark 16 adjusted. Inappropriate populations for extended interval dosing. Extended interval dosing may not be appropriate in certain patient populations that have significantly altered pharmacokinetic parameters or in patients with disease states where very high peak levels are not appropriate. These populations include question mark 17 pediatrics question mark 18 creatinine clearance BSA question mark 22 significant acetates question mark 23 pregnancy Question mark question mark 24 gram positive synergy, enterococcal endocarditis, 2 dot extended interval nomograms. This calculator uses four extended interval nomograms. You may select a specific nomogram by clicking the config icon in the top right hand corner. Hartford nomogram, 1995. The Hartford nomogram was one of the first published extended interval nomograms. Unlike other nomograms, it uses the highest dose of gentamicin slash topramicin, 7 mg per kilogram versus 5 mg per kilogram, which achieves a 40% higher peak. Although this higher dose has not been shown to improve clinical outcomes, it may be beneficial for institutions with higher average mix to gentamicin or topramicin. Barnes Jewish Although the Barnes Jewish nomogram has not been formally published, it is commonly used as an extended interval nomogram. The nomogram is no longer available as a web page via the Barnes Jewish Hospital, ST, Louis, MO, but it is available as an appendix in a meta-analysis that was published from the same institution, Rochester, 1997. The Rochester nomogram is slightly more conservative than other nomograms in that it suggests excluding patients with a creatinine clearance less than 30 ml per minute 
rather than 20 ml per minute, and de-emphasizes the use of Q48H dosing in favor of verifying that a predose trough level is less than 1 mcg slash ml. Furthermore, this nomogram uses the highest dose of amicacin, 20 mg per kilogram versus 15 mg per kilogram, which achieves a 33% higher amicacin peak. Urban Craig, 1997. The Urban Craig nomogram was developed with an option for Q12H dosing, which is especially useful in younger patients with high aminoglucoside clearance who may have an inappropriately long interval of subtherapeutic drug levels. With the addition of the Q12H interval, the nomogram should be designed to maintain at least 4 hours of drug level below 1 mcg slash ml, gentamicin slash topramycin, with a maximal post-antibiotic effect of 16 hours. There is a significant discrepancy in the literature regarding the relative potency between amicacin and gentamicin slash topramycin. Consider the following. Most extended interval nomograms are developed for gentamicin slash topramycin and are converted to an equivalent amicacin serum drug level. The Hartford nomogram 3 uses a question mark relative potency of 2 to 1 amicacin colon gentamicin slash topramycin, but the Barnes Jewish 4, Rochester 5, and Urban Craig 6 nomograms use a ratio of 3 to 1. Although the Barnes Jewish 4, Rochester 5, and Urban Craig 6 nomograms use the same gentamicin slash topramycin dose, 5 mg per kilogram. They have discrepant amicacin doses, 15 mg per kilogram or 20 mg per kilogram. Even though they all use the same 3 to 1 ratio for converting an amicacin concentration to fit onto the gentamicin slash topramycin nomograms, the CLSL accepted MIC susceptibility cutoff of most gram-negative organisms to gentamicin and topramycin is 2 mcg slash ml, whereas the susceptibility cutoff for amicacin to the same organisms is generally 8 mcg slash ml, a 4 to 1 ratio. The original literature involving amicacin, then named BBK8, showed that the relative potency of amicacin to gentamicin was between 2.5 colon 1 and 4 to 1 depending on the isolated organism.7. There is no clear standard conversion between the potency of amicacin and gentamicin slash topramycin. Given the CLSI breakpoint is a 4 to 1 ratio, this calculator uses a conversion of 4 to 1 for the purposes of converting serum drug levels between gentamicin slash topramycin and amicacin unless otherwise specified by an extended interval nomogram. 3. Proposed benefits of extended interval dosing. There are a number of proposed benefits to extended interval dosing compared to conventional dosing colon 5,6. Aminoglycosides are concentration-dependent antibiotics the more drug given, the higher the bacterial kill rates. Because extended interval dosing guarantees a very high peak colon MLC ratio, efficacy may be improved. Bacteria exposed to high levels of aminoglycosides without intervals of low drug concentrations develop adaptive post-exposure resistance, which results in less bacterial uptake of the aminoglycoside molecule. Less frequent dosing with longer periods of lower drug-free intervals may reduce the incidence or extent of adaptive post-exposure resistance. Aminoglycoside exhibit a post-antibiotic effect, PAE, in which bacterial growth is inhibited even though drug levels have dropped below the organism's MIC. The PAE is highly dependent on the height of the aminoglycoside peak. In patients who are not neutropenic who have very high aminoglycoside peaks, the PAE can last as long as 8 or 15 hours. By taking advantage of a longer PAE, extended interval dosing may provide reduced toxicity without compromising efficacy by having lower or undetectable trough. Question mark aminoglycosides are both nephrotoxic and ototoxic, vestibular and auditory. Uptake of aminoglycosides in terrenal and vestibular cells is saturated at a low concentration, meaning that very high peaks extended interval dosing, are not likely to cause more toxicity than traditional peak levels. Conventional dosing. Clinical evidence of conventional versus extended interval dosing. There have been numerous clinical trials published attempting to determine whether extended interval dosing is superior in efficacy or safety to conventional dosing. 
A recent meta-analysis of nine meta-analyzers, including 30-plus clinical trials, concluded that extended interval dosing may be slightly superior in efficacy. Five of nine meta-analyzers, equally nephrotoxic, six of nine meta-analyzers, and equally ototoxic, nine of nine meta-analyzers, dot eight. Given the controversial and conflicting data, the significant heterogeneity of the primary literature, and the variety of different definitions for efficacy, nephrotoxicity, and ototoxicity, it is difficult to form an informed, definite conclusion regarding the benefit of extended interval dosing versus conventional dosing. Regardless, a conservative conclusion is that extended interval dosing is at least as beneficial and safe, if not better, than conventional dosing. Furthermore, extended interval dosing provides for simpler mathematical calculations and reduced need for drug levels, which may reduce the risk of medication errors. 4. References and additional reading. Question mark 25 by L.A. Chapter 4. The Aminoglycoside Antibiotics. In. Bauer L.A. Ed. Applied Clinical Pharmacokinetics. Second Ed. New York. McGraw-Hill. 2008. Question mark 26 Divine B.J. Gentamicin Therapy. Drug Intel Clinfarm. 1974. 8,650,655. Question mark 27 Nicolau D.P. Freeman C.D. Bellevue P.R. et al. Experience with a once daily aminoglycoside program administered to 2,184 adult patients. And microb agents mother. PMID 7,793,867. Question mark 28 Bailey TC, Little JR, Littenberg B, et al. A meta-analysis of extended interval dosing versus multiple daily dosing of aminoglycosides. Clin Infectus. PMID 9,142,771. Question mark 29 Anasi M once daily dosing of aminoglycosides. A consensus document. In J. Clin Pharmacolther. PMID 9208335. Question mark 30 Urban AW. Craig W. Daily dosage of aminoglycosides. Kirkland Top Infectus. PMID 9189668.